April 17th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. We're going to start in Fukushima. Situation update number 88, according to the RSOE. Radiation levels have spiked high again in seawater near the damaged Fukushima, Fukushima nuclear plant in northern Japan and indicated a possible new leaks in, at the complex. So they're trying to do these fixes and uh, apparently new leaks are taking place. Um, they're dumping some kind of mineral in the water that's supposed to uh, absorb some of the radiation. Of course I will attach a bunch of links and videos below to keep you updated on what's going on in Japan. What little that's coming out in the news. So let's start over at Earth Changes, Scott.net. Um, U.S. fire sweeping across Texas. Uh, we had a firefighter killed a day after losing one of their own firefighters returned to the front line Saturday to, to battle wildfires sweeping across hundreds of thousands of acres in Texas that have destroyed dozens of homes. And this is that drought ongoing, heavy winds. We have a Central Africa deadly volcano that's one of the most dangerous on earth but scientists can't predict when it'll erupt as it is in the middle of a war zone. Um, this is Mount Nira Gongo it is one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world and scientists say it's only a matter of time before it makes the city below a modern day Pompeii. We have an unusual quake rocks Australia's barrier reef coast Australia's Barrier Reef District was rocked by an unusual 5.2 magnitude earthquake Saturday, but laid, but laid back locals said they had barely felt a thing. Uh, the tremor struck around 3.30 p.m. local, around 124 kilometers southeast of Townsville, at a depth of 10 kilometers, according to the United States Geological Survey. So another magical 10 kilometer earthquake. They've got a story going on. Have you seen the sun halo in your area? North Carolina. U.S. solar halo continues this afternoon. Now these are, uh, these are got to be from the chem trailing and geoengineering going on. But uh, they're reporting more of these. They're passing them off this winter as uh, ice crystals in the air. And that was making all these elaborate uh, sun bows going on. And uh, not rare anymore, India beholding sun god with halo around the sun. And they got a pretty cool picture on this one. And they got two pages today. New Zealand, big aftershocks rocks Christchurch, New Zealand. Uh, powerful has been fully power has been fully restored to 20,000 homes and businesses after a 5.2 magnitude aftershock rock quake devastated Christchurch. Uh, and again, New Zealand's second largest city remains devastated following a 6.3 magnitude earthquake in February, which claimed 181 lives, followed by a, by a stronger but less destructive 7.1 quake last September. And uh, yeah, that's just been going non-stop with Christchurch. Tornadoes in the United States kill 19 Two days of violent weather and tornadoes killed 19 people and left others homeless as storms ripped across the southern United States, officials said. Now this is part of that Lando cane that we've all been reporting on the past couple of days. Uh, Mr. Hurricane Tracker even posted a, a post up on a UB Alert as Lando cane. That was pretty rock on, man. I, I laughed when I saw that. Uh, in Canada, Manitoba flooding reaching unprecedented levels. In Canada, U.S. storm causing flood flooding on its way east. And again, that's this big storm rolling east, and uh, we've had plenty of rain here in the upper Midwest and the Ohio Valley. Cuba faces worst drought for 50 years. Cuba is facing its worst drought in half a century with tens of thousands of families almost entirely reliant on water trucks for essential supplies. The drought started two years ago and the reservoirs are now down to a fifth of their normal levels. 
and the government is providing road deliveries of water to more than 100,000 people in the worst effective areas of the capital, Havana. The situation in Havana is compounded by a pipe network in poor condition, which is their infrastructure, of course. Australia, earthquake magnitude 5.2 hits Queensland. And uh, they've got a story, Yellowstone supervolcano by the numbers. I'm going to call this one a fear piece. Um, again, Yellowstone's been ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. Nothing really crazy new in Yellowstone. Large crack in the ground appears in Michigan Upper Peninsula. They have a flashback piece today from February 7th. And this is Carney Art's crack in his back, um, which he keeps going on about. Uh, I would like, uh, I liked it when he went back and visited. That was pretty cool. Uh... U.S. death toll from severe storms rises to 17. Boom Chapel, Alabama. Vicious storms and howling winds smack the deep south, killing at least seven people in Alabama, including three family members who, whose homes were tossed into nearby woods. And, uh, yeah. There's another story out of Alabama. Seven kill the storm roar across Alabama. Death toll from tornadoes. Winds is now at 16. Over to the extinction protocol. Now they have two pages at well. Um, tornadoes ripped through the U.S. Southwest, 17 dead. Geologists mystified by Nevada quake swarms. Uh, Reno, Nevada seismologists are keeping a close eye on the area southwest of Hawthorne, Nevada, where hundreds of earthquakes have been detected since Sunday. It's a little bit concerning in a sense. The largest earthquakes in these sequences are a pretty large size. You have 4.0s. Uh, Graham Kent is director of Nevada Seismology Laboratory at the University of Nevada, Reno. He says there have been hundreds of earthquakes southwest of Hawthorne over the past few days, the largest recorded at a 4.4 in size. Uh, these are the biggest in a sequence we've seen at last in the last couple of years. So, uh, yeah, they're definitely concerned about all these uh, quakes right on the border with California and Nevada, as uh, are a lot of us who are paying attention. North Dakota, epic flooding, the new norm for America's breadbasket. Now there's another fear piece on um, the flooding going on in the upper Midwest in Canada and uh, how we're just getting deluged with rain. We're getting all of uh, Texas and Oklahoma's rain, and I, I bet you there's places in Mexico that would love for it to rain. Uh, with all the wildfires and things that are going on through the southwest. <clears throat> Manitoba declares state of emergency, worst flooding in 150 years. Now again, here is climate change with the, the, the erratic swing of the, the jet stream and uh, every other thing is going on. Um, the Atlantic current is still acting weird. It's still just dissipating off the east coast of the United States, off the coast of uh, North Carolina. Another fear piece, another fear piece. Uh, solar activity increases, here comes the sun, it may be anything but all right. And it's another, um, we had an M flare uh, sunspot off 1190 today. Uh, it's not earth directed, but it's, they're just emphasizing we have a lot of sunspots right now and they're very active. Um, we're in a very active cycle. Water crisis in Cuba. Hailstorms damage cross across states in India, so uh, India is having uh, severe weather with hail and storm damage and all of that. And, uh, there you go, let's pop that back up for you. <clears throat> Unrest escalates at Tal Volcano, 20 earthquakes and rising temperatures. Uh, again with the Tal Volcano. They're expecting an eruption at any time. Queensland's shaken by largest quake to hit region in 70 years. And again, that's 5.02 uh, earthquake. Massive dust storm brings Iran to standstill. Now again, it's just part of that, that big dust storm season going on in the Middle East right now. I reported on yesterday with the Kuwait story. And over to the watchers. U.S. farmers threatened by worse drought since the 1930s, and again, that's the, the southwest United States, Texas, uh, Oklahoma, New Mexico. <clears throat> and 
tropical cyclone Errol in, inching towards Western Australia. Um, it just seems non-stop in Australia with their raining and flooding problems. Yet another tropical cyclone. They've got a, um, a link to watch the moon live. Live from the moon as the moon waxes full this weekend. AstronomyLive.com is broadcasting live views of the lunar terrain from telescopes in Europe and North America. Uh, tune in and they have a link to follow that. And uh, the Lyrids meteor shower which is uh, expecting to put on a show after a three and a half month of weak meteor activity the earth enters a drawn out dusty tail of comet Thatcher. Most years in April there are no more than five to blah 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 but uh, we're supposedly having some um, <coughs> Well, actually, we are having some meteors. But uh, that's about all I have for tonight. And uh, if I missed anything, please let me know. And, uh, of course, attach your videos below or leave your comments. Thanks for everything. Enjoy what you can.